tell us a joke. Tell us a funny little story to make us all laugh. I don't know what's the matter, we're all so solemn. Is it because I've been stood up on my bow? It's the first time in my entire experience with men, and I've had a good deal of all sorts, that I've actually been stood up by anyone. Oh, I don't know how to take it. Tell us a funny little story, Stanley. Something to help us out. I didn't think you liked my stories, Blanche. I like them when they're amusing, but not indecent. I don't know any refined enough for your taste. Well, then, let me tell one. Yes, you tell one, Blanche. You used to know a lot of good stories. Now, let me see. I, I had to run through my repertoire. Oh, yes. I love parrot stories. Do you all like parrot stories? Well, this one's about the old maid and the parrot. This old maid, she had a parrot that cursed a blue streak and knew more vulgar expressions than Mr. Kowalski. <laughs> the only way to hush the parrot up was to put the cover back. Well, the only way to hush the parrot up was to, was to put... Go on, Blanche. No, I... I don't think Mr. Kowalski will be amused. Mr. Kowalski is too busy making a pig of himself to think of anything else. The face and your fingers are disgustingly greasy. Go wash up and then help me clear the table. That's how I'm going to clear the table. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Pig, Polak, disgusting, vulgar, greasy. Those kind of words have been on your tongue and your sister's tongue is too much around here. Who do you think you are, a pair of queens? I just remember what Huey Long said, that every man's a king and I'm the king around here. And don't you forget it. My place is all cleared up now. You want me to clear yours? Hello. What happened while I was bathing? What did he tell you? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, Blanche. I think he told you something about Mitch and me. No. You know why Mitch didn't come tonight, but you won't tell me. No. I... Call him. Don't call him if I am. Call him on the phone. Blanche, I wouldn't call him. I had to be given some explanation from someone. Well, I hope you're pleased with your doings. I've never had so much trouble swallowing food in my life. In that girl's face in that empty chair. She goes, and after you had the baby, it's gonna be all right again between you and me the way it was. You remember how it was? Honey, it's gonna be so sweet when we can get them colored lights going with nobody's sister behind the curtains to hear us. Hydrotherapy, they call it. 
You healthy poor like without a nerve in your body. How can you possibly know what anxiety feels like? I am not a Polak. People from Poland are Poles. They are not Polacks. But what I am is 100% American. I'm born and raised in the greatest country on this earth, and I'm proud of it. And don't you ever call me a Polak. As for me, I'm sure. Just keep your seat. I'm not so sure. Hello. Yeah, Mac. Get your hands what? on me, Stella. What's the matter with you? Why do you look at me with that pitying look? Will you shut up? No, we got a noisy woman in place. I told you I don't want a bowler rides. I had a little trouble with Riley last week. Well, I'm the team captain, ain't I? All right, then we're not going to bowler rides. We're going to bowl the west side of it together, and I'll see you. Sister Blanche, I got a little birthday remembrance for you. I hope that you like it. It's a... That's a ticket back to Oriel on the bus, Tuesday. <laughs>